Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, we're going to be making the roast beef sandwich number two. To make our sandwich onto thinly sliced buttered bread, we place thin slices of roast beef. Then we're to spread that with horseradish. Okay, let's give this roast beef sandwich number two a go. To me, I think this is delicious. Roast beef and horseradish and buttered bread tastes great. Um, you do have to like all those things, of course. I do want to plus it up a little though. And kick it beef on wick style and add some caraway seeds. And a little bit of lettuce. Okay, let's give this roast beef sandwich number two plussed up with caraway seeds and butter lettuce a go. I don't know, that combination of caraway seeds, horseradish, and beef, that is the signature of beef on wick, is just a fantastic combo. The caraway seeds uh, kind of impart an anise kind of flavor, not quite licorice, it's not that strong. And it goes really well with the horseradish, really well with the beef, and of course the lettuce is playing nice with everyone. All right, so the original roast beef sandwich number two, uh, tasty on its own. I mean, it was a pretty simple, straightforward sandwich, but a lot of flavor there with the horseradish and the roast beef and the buttered bread. I, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a seven. Um, plus up with the caraway seeds and the butter lettuce, that's easily an eight. That is delicious. I'm definitely gonna finish that. And to be honest, I'd eat either one if it were served to me. I do prefer the one plussed up, but they're both tasty. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.